car for one thing. Oh, it was. Like it Believe me, it had rides and it had oh, freak I'm shows and it had all kinds of wild things. Times Square had like all kinds of stuff there, but it's also like in the middle of a city. This is on the beach. B, B, you're saying to reduce Coney Island to its relevance? No, no, Basically, no, no, what's no, no, still no, no. relevant? I only said that was because he said they're, yeah. they're, ta they're talking about putting it in one little area or something like that. Yeah, yeah well. Taking the area of the amusement parks and putting condos next to them, which is going yeah. to create problems. Because people who buy expensive condos don't want noisy amusement parks. It's going to turn like what the Bowery's turning into, you yeah. know. The Bowery is law is being become gentrified, and it's it's going you know Starbucks will be coming in soon. What do you mean will be? Or already is, I should say. <laughs> I mean, it's all those kind of coffee houses, and that contributed to CBGBs moving out and and not existing anymore, <laughs> and, and and some other kind of businesses that were down that area. Coney Island, you bring in all the condos, it will just sort of swallow well, up whatever's left of like Coney rich Island. Rich people aren't going to want to live there anyways. It's just not, you know, it's I just not that type of neighborhood. Can, can, I'm can not I sure exactly what they're thinking. Because they're not going to take down all yeah. the projects. Just, can I say there something? There are certain people that only want, they're, all they can think of is like, let's build really You don't have buildings. to ask, Blue. Hang just, on. just go for it. From, from a purely political standpoint, and, and that is the other hat that I wear on occasion, is the political one. It would seem to me what's happening at Coney Island is indicative of what's happening to this country and what's happened in various Touché. urban areas. And it's that the very wealthy are coming in, and what they're doing is they want to set up almost a ghetto, if you will. Well, we'll take them and we'll put them over here because we don't want to be around them and see them. And then we'll, we'll buy up everything else and we'll make it pretty for us, for the rich people. But the poor people can, we'll give them this. They can have this. Well, history repeats itself. It sounds I like, a, it you does know, sound eliminating, like re repeating itself. And eliminating it's very the sad. middle classes, they say. Is that what they're trying but, to but do? But it's not even that. And it's the fact that people have come in and they have not bothered to listen to the community. They have been cut out of the equation once again. But and they're trying to fight back, and they need to be, they well, need to be given the weapons to fight back. But the weapons that are being used by the developers, the money and the power. Which is always what Which is always, ends. you know, I mean, there are on. two kinds of power in City this Hall. world. Don't you have, like, a district, like, assemblyman or a councilman or somebody that represents the people of that area? Do you know who that person is? Um, actually, Sean, being a local, would be the one to answer that question. Well, I, I know. Well, I anyway, my, my point local, is... My local councilwoman is Letitia James, and she's probably going to be against this development, knowing her voting record. I am. But my point is... I have something my point to say, is too. If the people, you okay, know, well, are truly adamant right. about this, they have someone who has a voice that's supposed to be heard... I'm just wondering if the Seriously, people. Seriously, dude, you actually believe that? No. Well, you can <laughs> go right. about it your you can go about Sorry. it your way. You can go about it your way and be on our show and and tell us you know how upset and angry you are about it, or you know in my opinion there's a way where you know supposedly if you do it in a, in a politically you know constructed way, you know you've got a person that's supposed to represent the voice of that area and do something about well, it. Not ju first of all, it's not just that area. The people that do that yes. actually do represent that <laughs> area. From Brooklyn too? It's, I am it's not. In New York and it's Uptown, is, it's happening the same thing up in Inwood and Washington Heights. Place. And it's a place that people come to for He'll a reason. He'll be interested to know. And they're what they basically want to do is get rid of the reason why people would want to come there. People come to Coney Island to be entertained. And for the mermaid parade. Yeah. And you need to say yeah. something. I You're do. trying to get something in here. It, this is actually, I didn't mean to interrupt, but this is actually striking some a chord in me as well because I'm from Washington Heights, Holla. And um, <laughs> there is a beautiful, beautiful area. This cl there's, a cl there's cliffs all up uptown um, in Washington Heights and in Inwood. And a developer came along, ripped apart a cliff, trying to build a tower. For rich people. Well, it was right under my building. I mean, not that we have anything against rich people. We all no. want to be. We could be rich people um, one day. We're responsible. And we yeah. still love the slums in Coney Island. I mean, sleaze is like the loveliest thing. Well, right? I, But what happened was he ripped apart a mountain that was not, I guess, protected. And so we decided to form a committee in the neighborhood. We need we sponsors on this show. So to every neighborhood. that want to give money to ArismaRadio.com and Ruby's World, Yay! we like you. 
okay. Great. As long as you have life. Can this one. girl he finish with the point that she's trying to make? F- I don't know what exactly happened, but they complete. I think he lost money or stopped completely. Stopped. The place is roped off. There's bulldozer, old bulldozers rusting. The mountain is cut up, and it's completely ugly and destroyed. And nobody has done anything about it. Is in as far as our council people, and we perf- we grouped together and created a committee in our neighborhood, and we're trying as hard as hell to get him to clean it up and to not build the tower. I don't know if it's ever going to start again. We don't know. But you can look it up and blogs. It's happening all over New York. Yes, New York needs to stay New York, New York City and not become one big condo. They fought that too, and they They're fought and fought and, and fought. Thing, so much property has been condemned. People have been kicked out yeah. of their houses. Oh. Right. And, you know, they were saying, oh, this was useless, underused property. Well, now it really is because... N- because they're running out of money. They ran, they ran out yeah, of money. Yeah, yeah out that's of money. what's happening. They can't complete the project. Now these buildings have buildings have been knocked down. People have right. been kicked out of their houses. No, it's a horrible and now, thing. now the neighborhood's even worse off. You know it what's going to happen? All the artists are going to end up leaving New York City. Well, all well go. you know what's going to happen is our artists are going to leave New York City, and all the rich people are going to be sitting in this one they're big gonna giant. They're going to be bored as hell. Right, and then they're going to go looking for us. They're going to want us they're to gonna go looking through the for us. streets It always again. happens. They follow us everywhere. I know. Stop following us. We're too cool. But that's how this. But that's how it all goes. It's all anti into you know fashion, and then they copy, and you know it's just the classic history of how the world runs. But you know what? We'll always. We will. Yeah. We'll have a place yeah. We're like. You'll, al- you'll always have baby. a place yeah. here. <laughs> you'll yeah. The cucarachas. You'll always have a place here in Ruby's world. But now, you Sean, you know do you Sean have another song that sure. uh, perhaps yes. you'd like to perform? Sure. And then we need to ask each and every one of you a dark, deep question. Sean, can you sing a song about Brooklyn? I could. I would like you to sing a song about Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sean. I never get tired of singing. It's the first ever country song that I know of. Written about Brooklyn. It's still the best. Also happens to be on a CD, Coney Island Cowboy, which is coming out. Uh, when is it coming out? Yeah, August 26th. August 26th. Woohoo! At the Coney Island Freak Show. And what time is that? Nine, Nine o'clock. Would you like Nine to come to on Ruby's Night. World that day to plug your show, or maybe? I might have to send a representative. I could do it. I'll right, be well, able maybe to. we'll talk. Yeah. Why don't you come down to Coney Island and film one location? That's an idea. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, at the freak like, show. This is like the other end of New York here. Who's, who's this? Come on in. Come on in. We've got like a half hour left. I don't want you to oh, get another, cheated. Uh, another witch in, in a bikini. Hey, can I'm you sit behind? Can you sit behind Sean? Just kind of squeezing back there. Oh, for the love of God. Uh, it's a tease. Right. It's a tease. Well, it's a terrible tease. She certainly is All teased. Right. Hello. Hi. All right, Sean, do your thing, and then we'll find out who this is that just walked in. (laughs) 